All right, Bang Bang. Today is Friday, November 1st. Chicago Dog Walk guests of the day are Carl and intern DC. Before we get to anything, though, boys, I do want to talk about where we're going to be at on Sunday. Carl, where are we going to be? We're going to be at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Schaumburg enjoying the game. Yes, against Philly. It's a noon game, 1430 North Meacham Road, Schaumburg, Illinois. Diet Miller's, right, Danny? You're a big right. Diet Miller guy. I'll be there. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to be doing? Uh, drinking Diet Miller's with you guys, watching the game. Yeah. What do you, like, what do you, anything, like, what kind of cup do you like to drink out of? Like, you know, what do you think? Um, I'm a big environment guy, so I'll go with a glass. With a glass. Yeah. Okay. That's it's nice move. that Danny's gone, because I know he's not a huge sports guy. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you don't like that when people bust your balls about being a sports guy? Look, I, I found my niche in Barstool, Chicago, doing weird things. <laughs> I wasn't stepping on toes. I'm, I played all the sports, watched sports. Sorry, if this joke him. comes up repeatedly, I might not make it through the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, regardless, in 1975, Miller Lite brewed the first light beer that didn't compromise on taste. They've been doing it ever since. Miller Lite is the original light beer brewed to have more taste and only 96 calories. They got the Slim Cans. Don't sleep on the Slim Cans, Dan. I won't. I'm wide awake on them. All right, good. I'm glad you're wide awake. But, yeah, come on out. Noon game. Watch the game against Philly. Uh, today, kind of, I don't know. We gotta, are, we, are we solemn today? Are we Are we upset? Because you guys had a great idea slotted out, and it just it just, it just fell through the it fell through the hole. Like, what happened? Tough circumstances to be recording a podcast today, but Danny and I are in here under the best circumstances we can be. Uh, Danny and I have been covering the – uh, Chicago Teachers Union strike together via text message with one another. We've been in communication about this. Correct, yeah. And the plan was to get some high school kids in here today. But to our luck, the strike, 10-day-long strike, I think it was, yeah. um, just by chance ended today. So classes were in session today, which was the day they were so obviously we, supposed to come in. We wanted the high schoolers in there. What were we going to do with those guys? I mean, what was... We, <laughs> quote-unquote, field trip. Well, when the... When the strike happened, Danny reached out. He's like, dude, strike. Like, you want me to go and pick it with the teachers? And I think, admittedly, that's kind of a tough thing for Barstool to cover because we know teachers. We know students. You know, like, you know the whole spectrum. And, like, it's a very complicated, muddy, and shitty situation that involves a lot of national politics and nothing I want to get into on a show. It's just a messy thing. Yeah. So I was like, Danny, we probably don't want to go protest and pick it with the teachers on this. Like, you, yeah. we, the clean environment stuff is stuff we want to protest. But this, so Danny and I, for like a week, we're trying to figure out, like, what should we do about this? And then I see Danny, like, flirting with some high school kids online about. <laughs> he does that a lot. Yeah. That's, oh, come on. This, <laughs> you have I've a been background with twice. You have, you have a background with Taft. All right. So, yeah. Taft is a high school from my neighborhood. Uh, they get the stereotypical like public school reputation. We li I live in like the safest neighborhood in Chicago, probably. So we just poke fun at the fact that we have this high school, uh, this public high school that we were all basically threatened to go with when we were um, growing up. If we like, our parents found like a lighter on us or something. And so they got a, got this. Uh, my father in law went to Taft. Yeah, yeah nothing nothing against Taft at all. It's like but it's actually like a, it's like a, not a bad school. Yeah, not at all. School. But me yeah. and the Taft kids have had a, a mini feud throughout the years. And so I reached out to them via Twitter.com asking if any of them wanted to come to the Barstool Chicago HQ to kind of hang out while their teachers were striking in the streets. And we felt that was like a fair way to get involved with the with the uh, strike. Because everybody says they're for the kids, Ed. Everyone says, like, oh, what are these kids doing when they're running around? That no one's open the parks. Them. Yeah, it's, it was bad. No, I agree. When you guys told me, I was pumped. I was like, let's get these well, kids Well, I wanted to ask your permission because we had the new couch. Oh, no, I was all about it. Like, I was looking into what we can use to roll in, like, a TV. You know, we could have watched, like, I don't know. The what, substitute teacher. Osmosis TV. Jones, you know, like a good educational film. <laughs> Uh, there's just a lot of things we could have done. We could have went down to Navy Pier, yeah, the Ferris wheel, Six Flags. If you know, Six weather, Flags. I mean, especially this time of year for Six Flags. Yeah, you know, we could have seen like I mean, how many kids were there? Four, mm -hmm. and then so it would have been mm -hmm. us three and cheat because we're not giving White Sox Dave a kid. Yeah, we? White Sox Dave, we have to. There's some risk management going on. Yeah, in our social Chicago. Okay. But we, the kids were from Ag High School, and okay. that's in Mount Green, with the furthest. It's like the outer reaches of the CPS, and it's the only agricultural school in Chicago. It's so. I mean, it's just it's just such a bad break because they were supposed to come Wednesday, but then they're like, no, Friday we can guarantee we'll be there, and then what do you know? Strikes over. Yeah. So unfortunate. Yeah. It was. It was. So here's what happened. So. <laughs> Danny and I were going back and forth. He's like, I'm going to see if I can get a couple TAF kids. And so this is like Monday. So Danny and I are like strategizing like how to get these high school kids in the office. And I was like, I really don't want to tweet something out. You know, like it's just. <laughs> yeah, not, this is one of the funniest yeah, parts. <laughs> like I don't want to like 
put out the bad signal. Like it's just way better. The other thing is quality control. So like I kind of want to like you know if it's somebody's cousin or something like that's a way safer play than just like somebody on Twitter. Yeah, like preferably you want like a senior who's eighteen. Like, yes. you know, just like a guy who can hang. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what I was thinking the whole time for the record. <laughs> yeah. So I call. I'm gonna rip I the call, jewel a little bit. I called with. Danny on Monday night. I'm like Danny. Like, what do we got? You know, and he's like, I'm working on one guy. I got one. I'm thinking maybe one guy. And it's kind of coming down crunch time because, like, <laughs> hey, strike it in. Like, we got to do this. So I'm like, fuck it. If you don't fuck it, Danny, I'll just send out the tweet. And so I acknowledge, I was like, I think this is going to sound weird, but I'm looking for a couple high school age kids <laughs> on strike. You have to be on strike. Now, one thing that happened was I got a lot of people that were like, hey, I'm, uh, you know, I went to a CPS school. No. Yeah, you know, no. or like, yo, I'm a student teacher. Like, no, I don't want to hear what you have to say at all. I want the fucking kid. But I think I got to back you up there for a second. I believe the way you, the way you worded it was, I'm looking for a few CPS kids. Yeah. And oh, CPS. And I didn't know that that stands for... Child Protective Services. Well, well here you we know, go. If yeah. you're not <laughs> from <laughs> Chicago, people are <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy in the orange helmet? <laughs> You know, CPS, like, but CPS is like such a in Chicago. They're like, what CPS? Yeah, no one in their right minds is going to think child protective services. Yeah, but we we're. we're I should say to, no one. Yeah, I shouldn't. We're say speaking that. to a national audience. You're right, right you and know? like some people don't even know what strike Whatever. is going on in Chicago. <laughs> so out of nowhere, they're like, <laughs> they're like CPS. Wow, this guy with the orange <laughs> and then, helmet. And then I'm very vaguely like, I just want to hang out. Yeah, and then the guy's name was Randy. Yes. Which unbelievable <laughs> name for a high schooler. Yeah. He th- and he wasn't an 18 year old senior. No, he wasn't. No, it wasn't like you weren't going to get like the kid who walks in the door and you're like, oh, you're in high school. Like, gee whiz, I would have thought you would have gone to Wisconsin. No, this was he was in high school. Like, this is a wow. this was a high school kid. Unbelievable. <sighs> so I guess let me take you to how I phrased my call out to the kids. I put it on Facebook because I thought there was a better chance of someone reaching out who's like little brother or something was in high school. Like you said, quality control and. <clears throat> the way I phrased it, I wasn't even trying to be funny when I did this. You mentioned something about like taking them out to lunch after, just like for them being a good sport and coming in. So it's like, oh, I guess I'll try to make this funnier and put. And I put snacks will be provided. And then <clears throat> the first comment was like, oh, luring kids with candy, not a good look, Dan. And it just got way more likes than my initial status. Just the bottom feeder won that time. Someone oh. memed me with a dick. And, it, you know, it was like a picture didn't look like a dick. And then you clicked on the picture and it was like, oh, surprise, kids. And I was like, no, this is not at all. Oh, wow. I, I couldn't believe, I guess, how much we didn't think about it or how much people overthought well, it. Like, yeah, it's like, here's the thing. It goes back to this. Everybody says they're for the kids. And then, I, you know, here we are trying to do something for the kids. How many emails do we get realistically on a month? Don't answer this question. Hi, rhetorical question. How many emails do we get realistically on a month? From college age kids, freshmen, sophomores, saying, "Hey, you know, I would just love to come by. I would just love to, you know, I'll just drop off a tin or something, or like, you know, I'll wash White Sox Dave's socks or car." So, like, we're trying to do a good thing. There's a junior in high school. Go back, write a school paper on it. You know, yeah. give a fucking five minute speech or whatever to your, you know, English class or something great. on your day in the office with Barstool, you know, Chicago. It would have been a nice story for when you come because you got to think when they go back, it's kind of almost like a show and tell. Like, what did you do? How during was your strike? strike? Yeah. How was your spring break? Yeah, basically. <laughs> exactly. What would you do on strike, Ed? Well, what would I do? I mean, well, their last day was Halloween, so that sucks. That's awful that they didn't get to enjoy that, you know, nice Halloween night with the shaving cream and they had to head back today on yeah. November 1. But, uh, I mean, I, I think you just, it, they, it was a good time for a strike, too, because we didn't get, you know, people are bitching that we didn't get a fall. We had some nice fall days the last couple of weeks, I would eh, argue. Yeah. I would argue. A couple weeks. A couple of weeks, Now, yes. you guys both went to St. Patrick's? Yeah. Right. Okay, all boys school on the north side. Correct. Well-known, historic, one of the oldest Private schools in Chicago? Correct. I mean, we say private, but, you know, they're like, I went to private school, whatever, Catholic yes. schools. What would be the difference between a St. Patrick Shamrock strike? What would you guys be doing, like, if your whole school is out together versus, like, a CPS strike? Like, what it, would be the difference? It would be just jumping house to house to whoever parents were at work and, you know, wherever. You can like get. day parties, right? Yeah. Just being yeah. a park rat. <laughs> exactly, like, yeah. Just hanging on the bleachers, dipping. Yeah, drinking the miracle juice. You ever have that? <laughs> that amazing juice. Sorry. What's the recipe? It's like uh, you, you. It was. It's such a gross drink. It's such a high school drink. You get a two liter of Mountain Dew, you, you dump it out to like the top line, and then you fill it with vodka, and then you pour a packet of Kool Aid in there. That's an Eddie thing. That's not a shamrock. That's such thing. a gut rot thing. And then, too, like, how many you know guys I mean? split that? Oh, like whoever want to get it. You know, just what? But yeah, you what pass do you mean it. Ar- a drink well, not, is a me thing, not a shamrock. You're thing. passing it around though, right? You're not pouring that. You're not like 
because once you have it in the two liter, like that's the thing. It's like one guy carries the two liter, yeah, yeah, and he yeah, holds yeah. the yes, risk. Exactly. So he's like, he yeah, I'll carry the two liter around. But then you're like, hey, let me get a taste. Yeah, like that's just like a high. That's just like a high school grammar school yeah. drink. This guy's trying. This guy, he's I've got never a kid done that. Yeah, well, but uh, I'm just saying that's. We was, know you're from yeah, Madison Park. Sure, yeah. This guy, this guy acts like he's like from. He's, he had a guy from his school who lit his legs on fire. What? Yes. Are we really gonna get? That's yeah. a whole other dog walk. Yeah, yeah, sure. But whatever, whatever. What's what's, what's going on oh, this weekend? Well, I was gonna say, okay, hold on. Here's a good high school drink that, like, if a guy for guys, if I see an adult male sniffing this at a bar, it's like, dude, buddy, out, get outside, you're out of here. So cold. That's the biggest. That yes. is the biggest high school. Like, you're a 17 year old, you're a 16 year old, you're at your house party. It's a good thing we didn't have these high school kids in here. The way this show's going, for real, no, no, it's, uh, freshman year, New Year's Eve. I still, SoCo yeah. was that was it. Lime, yes, so that was it. Lime, SoCo was the drink. Yeah, you just you just drink dumb shit when you're at those age. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's I guess what we've been doing. We've been drinking whatever dumb shit we could get our hands on. I guess yeah, Gatorade and vodka. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess yeah. But uh, other things going on this weekend. So you're there's like a homeless thing. Yeah, I think I'm sleeping outside tomorrow night for uh, this thing called Sleep Out that I just heard about on my way here. That's supposed to raise homeless person awareness in Chicago. Okay. Now, we were arguing before we started the show, is it better today over last this weekend over last weekend? Because Saturday, it pissed all day. Yeah, but I think I would rather take the rain since I could go under shelter than the cold because you can't stop that. You got to sleep outside no matter what. Well, are you guys going to be joining me tomorrow night, sleeping outside by any chance? Do you have a location? Like, do we know where this is at? I know nothing, really. I on, The way they phrased it on the radio was just like, walk outside of your house and sleep outside somewhere. <laughs> Getting off the red line at uh, <laughs> at Addison, just follow the people to Wrigley Field and Clark Street. Yeah, maybe you guys like go to Park Ridge or like a nice suburb and sleep no. on their sidewalk. Oh, so it's just a thing. Like, you don't... I'm not sure. The, like I said, the way they phrased it, I just heard about this 15 Dude. minutes ago, but I'm sure there's like a bridge everyone's meeting under or something. I feel yeah. like a lot of people are going to get robbed. Yeah, but I'm still like, like you're, you're, you just like discredited the shit out of rain. Like rain can roll. Like you're going to get wet, dude. If it's fuck last week, uh, last Saturday especially. I thought about it. I, I know there's areas in the city where I could get shelter. Mm. Yeah, but then it's not that. Well, okay. Both are going to give you a very authentic experience. Can we at least admit yeah. that? Yes. More than nice weather. Admit like, it, if yeah. you're going to do something like this, you do want the elements a little bit. Yeah. I do kind of lean towards Danny on the cold thing just because I, I, the fact you can't escape the cold. Right. But what about this? Like, the rain is kind of going to fuck with, like, your setup, like your camera, like, whatever you're doing. Yeah. I mean, I'm just bringing an iPhone like I always do, an iPhone in a dream. But I, I, do <laughs> God, I just... Get, get out of here. <laughs> Do I just like bring a sleeping bag? Like, does it count if I pull an all night? No, you cannot pull a sleeping bag. You has to be the most authentic. Even but homeless people have sleeping like, bags. Yeah, so. I know. So you have to leave with nothing and find a sleeping bag. Ooh, if you want a sleeping point. bag, go find one. Got to oh, trade wow. up. Got to trade. I never brought this up to you guys. Well, we'll start you off with. I'll. I will stake you eight bucks and eight like thirty eight cents. And then whatever Eddie has in his wallet, yeah. and there's your start. If you get 15 bucks from us, and then by the end of the night, like, let's see what you got. A good homeless guy is going to turn a profit. Oh, all right. Challenge accepted. Eight Saturday bucks night? Is it a Saturday night in Chicago? Yes. A good homeless guy comes home with some money on a Saturday night in Chicago. Definitely. All right. Definitely. What else is going on? Something at the uh, McDo- local McDonald's? Yeah, so right down the street in the Ukrainian village, we've got a ribbon-cutting ceremony at our McDonald's, so... Say, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Day what am I laughing at? There's a ribbon cutting <laughs> ceremony at McDonald's. Well, who? No one laughed at you when you had the manager from Burger King in here. <laughs> sure, sure, but so I mean, uh, what's what are they cutting the ribbon on? Like <laughs> they got localities, new place, Ed. They got a new play place or what? Uh, no, no, no. They actually do have. Um, I will be serious for a second. They have uh, the new automatic robot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That, they're celebrating that. It's very nice. Wow. Touch, our, touch screens. Our play place is dead. Play place is at McDonald's. I haven't seen one in years. I saw one at a Chick Fil A, and that thing fucking. A Chick Fil A has a play yeah. place. Yeah, that yeah. There's got like automatic slides. The Chick Fil A employees probably built it themselves. You see those <laughs> memes? They're like helping people push their. Did cars. you you saw that? Yeah, someone's yeah. car broke down at Chick Fil A the other day, and they like carried it out for him. And then like two yeah. weeks ago, someone like literally saved someone's life. Like, Other than Chick Fil A, those things are like a public health risk, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Chick Fil A, though, those things are great. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, the ball pit. Did you so, go to like Discovery Zone as a kid, Enchanted Castle? So by our house too. I don't know if Dan will claim this. Maybe <laughs> I only went here. We had Caesarland, which was a fucking yeah, I'll claim which it. was fucking big time. Caesarland. So Little Caesars had like a play place. Mm-hmm. No, it talking, was, Little Caesars, I'm, and it was big. Oh, it was, was more than a play place. Before, after Little, like Little Caesars turned itself into like the five dollar take it out this pizza. is before so before they were like trying to become a pizza hut yes uh-huh they were trying to be yeah it was like pizza, a pizza. uh i'm trying to think of exactly it was like a discoveries remember that place yeah it, it was like a, a chuck e cheese play place not like a mcdonald's it was yes you're right sorry that's what could I you get tokens and yeah get... fuck yeah you got all that what was shit. your game that thing was great what was your game they had a nice little rocket ship i just like to go up and down once in a while <laughs> that's <know>? so funny <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i was a jungle gym guy or, yeah the jungle gym we could have taken those kids at dave and busters we could have but not the one on michigan avenue because high school kids are always ripped that one apart like oh, that's really? the one they're always like oh high school kids robbed a bunch of people on michigan avenue oh no can't go to that <laughs> one. there's a different one in gold coast yeah well all right well that's just kind of what happened today we were supposed to be us three and a high school kid but said so it's just us three talking to you about how we were supposed to be a high school kid so Even question better. for the group do we want to go there's a, there is a dave and busters in gold coast I, can we at least pretend the high school kid came in maybe go like some tokens for lunch or something i'd love to go to dave and busters all right That'd be great. i could probably pass as a high school kid if all I right That'd next time you guys hear from us we'll be recapping our <laughs> <laughs> then dave and busters yeah so we'll see uh danny will be sleeping in the cold and carl will be at a, at a ribbon a ribbon ceremony so uh They've committed, and look out for those. All right, that's it for today, everybody. That's it for this week. We will catch you on Monday.